Hi, my name is Alex and I work with the Large Optics Fabrication and Testing Group here at the University of Arizona. Um, we do a lot of things with various optical systems and one of the things that I think is pretty cool is how we can process those uh, images that we take and identify objects that are in our scene that we're interested in. Um, so here I have this Loft logo, a University of Arizona logo, and an old Nike logo. And I want to figure out, you know, how can I um, identify each of these objects in my scene. So one way to characterize um, those objects that I showed you earlier would be to use what are known as moments. So an image moment is just a way to reduce an image down to a set of numbers. And the moments that I'm going to use today are called um, whose moments. And uh, whose moments are special because they are basically invariant to uh, translation, scale, and rotation. So what that means is that if I move my objects around, if I move this around, I will be able to still determine that this is um, the object that I'm interested in, regardless of its position, orientation, or um, size. I don't have a different size here, but if I shrunk this to a different size, it would not matter. I used MATLAB to compute the whose moments of the known objects that I'm looking for. So the first thing I do is read in the objects that I'm looking for, and then I compute whose moments using this MMS function that I wrote. So once I compute the whose moments, I store those moments into a matrix A. This is my basis matrix containing the moment information for each object that I'm interested in. Um, <clears throat> Then I just identify each object using this IDS cell array. So I wanted to do this using a webcam and I decided to do background subtraction so that I could easily identify objects in the scene that were not the same as the background. And by doing this, I am able to pick out things that are not from the background, but I'm not able to compute um, the object's identity. So I use this to create a mask for each object and then I finally multiply the mask by the original image to isolate each object and compute their moments individually. And so that's what I'm doing down here. I compute the <coughs> whose moments of each object that I find and then I compare that to my original basis set using SVD to compute a least squares fit. So the least squares fit will basically tell me which object belongs to which column in the basis set that I have already generated at the top of my code. And finally I display the original image with the uh, centroid position and uh, object identification for each object that was found in the image. Let me now run the code to see if it's able to successfully identify the objects. Aha! So the objects were identified successfully it looks like. I've got a Nike logo in the top right, an Arizona logo in the top left and the loft logo below. So here's a mask image of my Nike logo that I found, a mask image of the loft logo that was found, and finally a, a mask image of the Arizona logo that was found. And here are the objects that were found by MATLAB but not yet identified so there you have it, whose moments were successfully used as a basis for identifying objects in an image. For more information about our group, some software that our group has written, and other cool optics examples, please visit our website at www.loft.optics.arizona.edu. And don't forget to check out the rest of our group's videos. Thanks and have a great day.